Hello everyone, this is Jeff of Tell Flater Mouse. Viewers have asked me, hey, why don't you do some more pellet rifle videos? So let's do that. Today we're going to take these Crossman Destroyers, shoot them forward and backwards, and see if there's any appreciable difference in the damage. The first shot is, of course, shot forwards, the way it's supposed to be shot. The pellet went in about three and a half inches and then sprung back to about three inches. Okay, let's cut that pellet out of the block. Thank you, William from the Wound Channel, for supplying that gel, by the way. And as you can see, the expansion was very controlled and very uniform. Okay, now a backwards pellet. The pellet goes in, went in much deeper, about five inches, sprung back to about four inches. And you can see a fragment of the pellet ejecting out the back. That's odd. The pellet definitely fragmented into a lot of pieces. Big difference in damage. Okay, once again, a forward-facing pellet going in about three and a half inches again and springing way back to about two and a half inches this time. And once again, we had very controlled expansion with the pellet. And then finally, another backwards pellet. Let's see if we can get the same results again. That little fragment of the head penetrated very deeply again so we're definitely having consistent results here so the skirt is definitely acting like a gigantic hollow point causing a lot of expansion and fragmentation and every forward facing pellet that we shot showed very consistent expansion like that and that's a kind of a hallmark of quality control right this is just a shot of the gel block showing all the shots that I took all the pellets still in the block before I removed them. Now all these shots were taken at very close range, about a foot away. Chances are the forward facing pellet, the way it's supposed to be shot, is going to be a more accurate pellet. Hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching.